The behavior has in fact been unhinged, but I blame the full moon and you know, we're just going with it. I just entering a new era. Listen, I don't want to be dramatic, but we are very long overdue for a life update and a styling. And I will be dramatic because what is under this hood is dramatic. I have done something that, I mean, I've always wanted to do it, but I never really had the guts to until the full moon. And I don't expect you to get it, but if you do get it, then you know, okay? Like a werewolf, me and my shears evolved that evening and I had a way with my hairs. And I have not styled the hair the new cut myself since doing it. And so we are going to style my new haircut for the first time together and also just catch up on a lot of things about life. I mean, especially if we really want to dig into why I got to this place. We'll talk more about that. Let me just reveal the new hair. Personally, I think this is the start of a very much needed new hair. <laughs> oh God. Okay, wait. What you're about to see is day six. So, the horror. Mm. Ooh. Oh my God, I can't wait to watch. Okay, okay. You know that scene in The Princess Diaries when she got her hair blown out and then she was like, oh my God. But I'm gonna do it like that, right? The nonchalant, the shame, the, oh, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, but also I know I'm bad. That's the energy, okay, ready? Got all messed up in the hoodie. Okay, what's the name, BLB? Started calling you Bob. Bob! Ah! Oh. This is where I'm at to insert the pictures. Insert pictures. Everyone, this is my new Hera. Is that actually cut off? Which, as you can see, is actually cut. I thought it was the hairstyle at first. And shorter than it's ever been. This was the shortest I ever was, but now this is the shortest I ever have been. And I love short hair. I think this has definitely been the summer of the bob. And after my own summer, I feel like this was a very personal, therapeutic, dare I say, life-changing transformation that needed to happen. But we're gonna talk about what needs to happen. I need to wash this hair so we can start trying to style her. We'll see how it goes. It should be fast, should be quick. Not here for a long time, but a fun time. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, should I take you in the shower with me? This better not take longer than 10 minutes, but I'm not gonna take you in the shower so I can actually properly wash in my pits. I'll time it. I'll time my shower, how about that one? Okay, it's 2.27, I'm gonna be back by 2.40. Oh my God, run, run. I'm back and holy crap, someone get me a staples button and hit that because that was easy. That was easy. <laughs> this shortcut is giving sexy, bad boss, successful entrepreneur, independent woman that you can't talk to. This haircut is not meant to be cutesy, no. Very different energy. So I do wanna consider that when I am styling because I cut, I cut the hair. Now actually, I have not cross-checked my haircut I haven't cleaned it up wet yet, but I don't think I'm allowed to touch my hair anymore. <laughs> I, I need a break from me and my scissors. I can't really be trusted right now. When I gave myself this haircut, I don't think I was in a very clear mindset. However, I did document a little bit of my process and these videos are pretty vulnerable, but let's roll the clip. It, it happened again. It happened again. I have been, I have been cutting. I, I don't even know how I get into this, into this situation. But suddenly I'm in the washroom and my hair is, you know, a fresh, phenomenal wash and go where I can really see the shape of my hair. And I thought, let's just trim a little. And this has happened consecutively all month. And I've also been going blonder and blonder. And this is a hairstyle that is not new to me. It's true to me. I mean, I realize that I'm bringing my hair back. I don't know if it's subconsciously, but it just ha it's, ha it's what's happening. I'm bringing my hairstyle back to a place where it was in my past and as past selves of me that, you know, I really like myself as, and I find myself going back to that. And this is just going off on a tangent, but I feel like in a way I'm healing an inner Mel. And like, I feel very much like myself here. Again, I'm a blondie child at heart. I'm not crying. I am crying. But something about this, I just realized I keep going back to cut my hair and slowly but surely it's gotten me back to this, which is a haircut I've had and I just love it. And my waist is gone. The dogs are out and my god they look swollen. But listen, I don't know how to explain this truly, truly unhinged behavior. This is obviously a new era for me. Yeah.
And I actually cut off more after that video. I think I spent a total of five hours just cutting away at my hair. So obviously your girl's been going through it and I don't wanna keep you in the dark. I'll open up a little bit about it, but let's put something in my hair before she dries, okay? This is like optimal dampness. And I think to style, if I wanna keep up with that like luxury energy, I'm just gonna go in with the routine that I was doing before I cut my hair. You know, the health of my hair hasn't changed. So I'm gonna go in with Aveda. I'm gonna start with the Nutriplenish Leave-In Conditioner. And I have to spray it like this now because I messed up the spray, so. I also have to be aware of how much product I'm putting in. Like I definitely scooped up way too much of my hair mask. I was very generous upon application, but let me tell you, my hair just melted. That was the fastest detangling, the fastest shower I've ever had. So where was I? Well, I was saying how this is again, how many times have I said it? This is my first time styling this myself. But after that night, like, like right after that night, after I cut my hair, Amanda and I were actually scheduled at a salon to get our hair styled. I think Amanda's gonna <laughs> herself. <laughs> what? What the f Let's go, we're gonna be late. What the f did you do that for? It's a canon event, Amanda, you can't interfere. I think that's part of the reason why I started to cut because I was like, oh, I want my hair to look amazing. Like if I'm gonna be in the chair of another professional, my hair needs to be on point. I started with trimming one, two, three curls, and then I started taking another inch off. And then, well, the rest is history. We, we went through that. We, I went through that. But the good news is I was in the chair of an absolute sweetheart and she said my hair looks good. She said it looks good, so. I'll take it. I'm gonna take some cream, only because honestly, now that my hair is, it's gonna be pretty weightless. It's gonna be pretty fluffy. I'm not really too worried about volume. Like I cut it to be round, but I don't know if I wanna go for the really round, fluffy look right now. Only because, I mean, after we styled it and we tried out a wet look, like finger wave, sophisticated, chic look, I, I'm i obsessed with that. Like that is going to be my new signature look, but I also don't wanna overdo that look because I think I wanna style my hair like that for Amanda's wedding. And so I need to let it still be a little bit special. And so we are just going to style my curls natural. Break that through. And you know, part of me, <laughs> Part of me is very petty. Part of me did this because I got a comment. I hate comment. It was nice. On a recent video, a reel on Instagram that you should be following. And it was a tutorial that I did on my short hair. Now my hair before I went in and did this cut was already cut last month. And it was definitely on the shorter side. Couldn't really call it Bob, but definitely a lob. I'm taking this Nutriplenish styling treatment foam because I just love foams. So anyways, I was doing a style on my short-ish hair because a lot of people would consider that hair short. It was sitting like just at my shoulders, which to a lot of people is really short, but to a lot of other people who have gone actually short, like we're talking cropped, we're talking pixies, we're even talking buzz cuts, that is not short hair. That's mid-length hair. And so I got it, I get that. You know, they just left a comment saying, can we please stop calling this short hair? So I said, bet. You want short hair? I'll bring you short hair. And what's fun about this is I actually haven't had hair this short for my entire duration of this channel. So this feels really new and fresh and a little bit scary, but I feel fresh, precious. Let me see, okay, here's the thing. So I always do the little horseshoe and then style the bottom as one entity, but really I could split this in three. The shower is taking a pee, okay. Okay, so I took one more section from the top of my ear around the back. This bottom nape neck hair section, usually below where the back of your head rounds unless you have a flat head, which many people do. My occipital is not extremely prominent, but anyways, I digress. This section is often treated like its own entity when we're doing a haircut. For example, when I cut my hair, I did treat this different. So I wanna style this different because I don't want this to be too poofy. I don't want it to look really separated. Like I want this to look really nice and full. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of gel on my hands just to help control the area a little bit more. Just honestly, a tiny, small, little two peas in a pod size amount, okay? And that's the Nutriplenish Gelee. And I'm going to smooth this over and then like you saw I'm gonna take my Denman brush and I am going to define the curls horizontally so let's I'm gonna split this in half now should I turn around so you can see what I'm doing let me try let me try look back at it okay here's the sectioning 
I'm going from underneath the section with my brush, brushing upwards. That way this hair sits really short because the last thing I want is for this hair to flip out on the bottom and look longer than the rest, especially because I know that these curls are a little bit bigger and I don't want it to look like a weird grown out mullet. And I'm gonna do lots of scrunching to also sit it up there, sitting pretty. Look at that, look at this, like I have a neck and a burr, and a crack. What? P word, you nasty. Okay, let's go on to the next section. I think I need to split it up. Oh my God, is this gonna be more maintenance when styling? I gotta split it up into all these sections. I'm gonna take the two sides, like hair in front of my ear, and then the back is there. And I wanna continue styling this back section like I did the nape. I want there to be lots of volume in the back. Like it technically is a stacked bob. There's lots of graduation, lots of layering. I wanna see all this very Variation because I have a small head actually <laughs> big ego but a small head and I always always feel like the back of my head is flat and that's just because of my curl pattern my hair density texture a variety of things if I really wanted to get that round shape I would have to cut it a lot shorter and so here we are today but in the sides I don't want this to be too poofy I actually want to kind of style this section I want to do an ear tuck moment I kind of love that so let's Let's see, I recently, this summer, got a new piercing. I am not much of a piercing or a tattoo girly. I have no tattoos. And piercing wise, I basically just have my lobes. Actually, I did go through a rebellious phase and I have my septum pierced and I didn't always feel like it was entirely my vibe. So I figured I should probably just take it out. But the hole is still there. And other than that, I just had my regular lobes. And random fun fact, my lobe piercing on this ear was botched as a six month old, however old I was when I got those pierced. She was always a little lopsided. And then naturally, as we wear lots of earrings and live our lives, the piercing hole droops a little bit. You know, it goes from a hole to like a line. And that line, she was crossing all kinds of lines. It was about to split my earlobe open if I continue to wear any more earrings, especially heavy earrings. And so after a long time of telling myself I would get that earring re-pierced, I finally did that this summer. And that's just one of the many things that I have done for myself to prioritize my self-care and feel really good about that. I talked a little bit about this in last week's video or it was two weeks ago, which was also our last video. I can't hide the fact that I haven't been online as much. I actually don't think I sat down to film a YouTube video all of August. August just slipped away. And I do want to blame that on having something to do with like some personal life changes that I've been going through. Not that I want to make up excuses, but I want you to know that if I'm ever going to sit down and create a video and get to hang out with you and share some new tips or whatever we're doing that week, I want it to be something that makes both you and me happy. I want to feel good about every single video that I'm putting out there. And I've just been spending more time for myself and by myself as I am recently single. Now there was never a ring on this finger, so I guess you could say I've always been single, but I am currently mingling and um, my tear troughs are tingling. <laughs> no, I've, I've spent enough time this summer crying and processing. And let me tell you, those tears are not all sad. Today, this morning, I went for a walk, you know, cause this is when I do a lot of my processing as part of my high maintenance hot girl routine. I've been going on hot girl walks every single day. I feel amazing, thank you. And today I put on a dance playlist on my phone. So, you know, I'm strutting down the street and I'm thinking about my weekend. I'm actually thinking about the whole month of September and all the events that I have coming up and in my head, I'm planning about all the girls nights that I'm having including tonight and suddenly I started getting emotional and I started crying because I'm like oh my god what a freaking life like I feel I'm so I'm so thankful listen you might think that this is a sad time and sure it is there are sad elements to it however how I see it is I am so blessed I actually get to be single again and live my best life and I'm prioritizing me and what I want to do like no nothing is in my way right now you know like if we really want to talk about it I am dead in my prime right now I am at the young old age young old age yeah of 26 years old and I haven't been single in my 20s ever so right now I get to experience a lot of firsts I get to go out with the girls and maybe be a flirt and maybe probably give the wrong name to people and a fake number because 
I mean, I'm really, I'm, no, I'm literally in my don't talk to me era. The last thing I'm trying to do right now is hop right back into another relationship after being in one for so long. I'm not saying I'm not gonna be friendly, but I don't wanna get to know anybody because right now I'm getting to know me. Let's, let's style this top section, shall we? I think I'm gonna do this how I always do, which is, uh, especially in the back crown here. Keep doing the same thing we've been doing. Okay, let me get in there. Beautiful. These are pretty freaking short. Like, these are going to be serious. Like, the cut is still gonna look round, but I don't think I want, like, bangs and all around, like, all this hair on my face. That's why I think I'm still gonna do, like, this little tuck, but softer than, like, the gel down finger wave that I had. So let's see. Now I'm gonna take horizontal sections here. Really just styling all this hair based on where it lives on my head. Like, I know that this side section is gonna be falling off to the side, so I'll do most of the scrunching afterwards. But uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I choose to be very thankful, very grateful for this time to be able to experience this new era of my life. I feel like I've grown so much from this experience and I've been documenting it. I've been doing a lot of journaling. I've been doing so many things that I always said I wanted to start doing, but I am truly a procrastinator. I'm a talker, but not much of a doer. And I've been committing to myself and actually journaling. I've also been reading. I've also been very diligent about my night routine. I'm giving myself lymphatic drainage massages, castor oil in my belly button. I'm not just walking a minimum of 10,000 steps every day. I'm also hitting the weight machine. I'm just using this time to level up in every single way. And that, my friends, is a sleigh. That is it though. How do I, let me see here. I wanna see how I'm gonna part my hair. See, I'm keeping that tucked. I do love myself a good like C-shaped parting. Yeah, I think that's fun. I need a little bit more. I don't want the part to be too deep. I think that's good. Okay, that is looking really good. I wanna finish setting it into place. So I'm gonna take some clips just to help lay some of this down so that it dries in place because this hair, now that it is so lightweight, there's so much cut off. Once I go in and start diffusing, it might have a tendency to want to blow around and be a little crazy, but I want to make sure that she's gonna cooperate with me. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's get her. I'm gonna go in with high heat and high speed as per usual. Oh my God, I need to see how quickly this is going to be. Okay, let's time her. Start. I wanted to make sure she was completely dry, so this took me 12 minutes and she's crisping. Oh my God. Now I'm just gonna go out and say it. I honestly think I have the face for short hair. I mean, I've always loved putting my hair up in updos as I often do for events. I hope that I'm still able to do that. Uh, but you know, that's what we're gonna get to. We'll, we'll have to do a lot of different styling tutorials, but first, Let's finish fluffing this hairstyle out. Now the thing about having a hairstyle like this that is so short, you know, I've really gotten rid of my security blanket, which means my face is on display. It's not going to be complete without some makeup, so I will be doing that to give you the full effect. And also, I just wanna say this before I forget to say it later on. We don't have to talk about what happened. I'm never going to talk about what happened, you know, the details of my relationship. I've pretty much always kept that relatively private and I'm gonna continue to do that because I mean, at the end of the day, that storyline is irrelevant here. I'm the one who's the main character. So we don't need to talk about or speculate anything about the B plot, he's been killed off. I, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. All I'm saying is he is no longer a part of my story and that's okay. The rest is still unwritten. Yeah. Natasha Benningfield, where are you? I'll be right back with the final look and result. Oh, hello. See, this is what I mean when I say the cut is actually chic. If you call me cute, we might have issues, okay? I feel like a grown woman. I feel like I truly have grown a ton. And I thank you for being with me along all of these experiences. I know that I've been a little distant this summer and I haven't been filming as much, but I'm getting back to myself. I'm getting back to school. So I'll have lots of fun new content, lots of information to share with you. And of course, lots of fun new hairstyles to try on not just me, but also my cease. Like I actually had so many things on my list of things to update you on that we didn't even touch on, but Amanda's wedding is officially two months away, which means we will definitely ramp up the wedding hairstyles and trials because we are still in fact undecided on her, uh, on her bridal 
hairstyle for the day of. So that's that, but stay tuned. We'll definitely share more content regarding that with you very soon. Oh, one other like elephant in the room is I started Invisalign this past month. So it's just, you know, another little thing that I have done for myself, you know, doing little things for me. I'm on an Invisalign journey. Don't stare at them, okay? It's fine. We're almost there and they're coming off before the wedding. So I love this journey for me. I love this journey for you. If I have inspired you to cut your hair, well, you know, I'm definitely sure that eventually I'll share the DIY tutorial. If you're gonna do it at home, I'd rather you do it safely and under the guise of mice. I don't know. I, I have to go though because <laughs> The Uber is waiting. Ombre, come here. I have to show them your hair. You can sit on my lap if you have sit to. On <laughs> sit, on, sit on my This chair might break, but <laughs> we just slayed Amber's blonde. Yas, look down. Give us that, give us the routage. We're ready to go out, have a girls night on the town. I love this life. I love you. Love you. See you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, let's just go. let's just go for it. I don't I when was the last time I filmed a YouTube video? I don't even know. I don't even know how to act right. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to cough. Well, I'm bald. I should have known that my head was too small for this, but everyone, I am officially bald. It is time for a very, 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 very do not disturb me. Long, 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 long overdue. Overdue. Don't, don't talk like that. Uh, sorry, I'm not sorry. I am sorry, but I'm not like, I'm like, excuse me, but I'm not apologizing. Naturally. I need a clip. I need another clip. Oh, sorry, excuse me. All right, ma'am, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I did it, yeah. What's your name, BLB? Started calling you Bob. Look at this. This movement. Like, how's it look in the back? I'm not entirely sure, but it feels. It looks really good. It feels good. It's so bouncy. Like, there's so much movement back there. There's a lot of movement back there. What's your name, Bill B? Started calling you Bob.